Amari, Saturday could potentially be your last game in Neyland Stadium. What do you hope, whether it's this year or next year, is the impact that you've left on this program? Uh, really, uh, when you look at this program, hopefully I'm just a person that they can look at that always gave his best, always wanted what's best for Tennessee, not necessarily myself. I always just willing to um, put the team before me. You know, I'm a big person on just building friendships, building relationships. So I've been able to do that here, and hopefully that's just something that continue whether I'm here or not. Going off of Casey's senior day question, what has been one or two of your favorite moments as a Tennessee Vol throughout your years being here? Uh, I would definitely have to say the Vol walk. Like, my first Vol walk, like, getting to experience it, like, coming out of COVID, because, like, COVID wasn't really nothing. But then, like, seeing it out of COVID was crazy. Like, it was just like being a recruit again almost. So that was good. And I'd say just, like playing against Ole Miss, like, because I had a lot of family come to the game, that game, just because it's so close to Memphis. So those two moments, like, are really special to me. Amari, yeah. what's the uh, practice been like this week? Obviously, back-to-back -back tough losses. Do you feel like everybody's going to be geared up and ready to go come Saturday? Yeah, I, uh, I feel like everyone is going to be ready for the opportunity Saturday because we know it's a big game for us. That's how we look at it as the next game. We can't do anything about the past, but we can't let the team who beat us before beat us twice. So we can't think about it anymore. Just let it be, but learn from it and know that we can got to get better and we just got to play better. <clears throat> Mario, you're talking a little bit about senior day. Do you know if this is going to be your last home game? Have you decided you, you can't come back next season? Do you know what, what your plans are yet? No, I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to go out there like it's my last game. Like, just have fun, play free, because you never know what could happen. Just is another opportunity, so I got to take advantage of the opportunity. Is that future decision something you plan on kind of addressing and getting into maybe in December after the season's over? Yes, sir. Mario, what have you seen from Vanderbilt on that side of the football up front? What are some of the challenges that they can present for you guys? Um, they're a team that plays hard. They um, Every game, majority of the games they've been in, their losses have, like, they've been in games. So, like, they're a good football team. They're going to come ready to play in-state rivalry. So, everything, the hype around the game is going to be there. So, we just have to be able to approach because we're going to get their best shot. Omar, what are you thankful for this holiday season? I'm thankful for my family. You know, thankful for um, just the people I get to be around every day, the opportunity, and just anybody I come encounter with, just thankful, just hopefully leave a mark on anybody I meet. Yeah, Mar, the, the the COVID year is kind of a weird situation. Uh, do you guys, like, discuss that on the team? Like, are you coming back? Am I coming back? Is that discussed now, or do you think those talks will come next week? Next week. Yeah, we really just focusing on the game right now. That's something that we just told each other. Like, it's, it's so much uncertainty, but, like, what we do know is that we're going to play Saturday, so we get a chance to go out there and have fun and play with each other, regardless who leaving, who coming back. Like, this is one opportunity for this team to be together again. So, you know, we just got to embrace it and go out there and have fun. Take a few more. Ben, Patrick, and then Henry. Amari, with James Pierce Jr., how, how much more attention is he receiving from opposing offenses right now? Uh, a lot of attention. You know, James, the way James has been playing all year uh, is causing a lot of buzz for him, so teams are – like doing everything in their will to kind of like play him out of the game. But I feel like that's where, you know, other players have to continue to step up and make more plays as well. Just from, you know, me, everybody, like literally everybody just got to continue to play better. And that's James as well. So we just all just got to continue to grow. Have you seen James handle that, that extra attention? And especially for a young guy, what are his next steps to be able to handle that more consistently, I guess? Yeah, um, James, he's been handling it um, pretty good. You know, um, you see James, like, especially once he started playing better, it's like he got into the facility way more just because, like, he noticed, like, teams started focusing on him more. So he took his game, like, not necessarily on the field, but he took his game, like, mentally, the preparation piece of it, he took it way more seriously. Um, just based off of the season he was having, I feel like that's something that he's going to continue to do because he um, he knows the player he can be. And James is the type of guy, like, when he wants to do something, he's going to do it. So he, I feel like he's just going to continue to grow, and he's going to put his mind to it and do everything that he needs to do. Amari, we, we talked to Coach Garner earlier. How is your kind of – or kind of what kind of impact do you think he's had on your career as a, as a player? And how do you think your the, the player-coach 
relationship you guys have has, has developed over your, your past three years? Yeah, um, Coach G has played a big part um, of me being here, just um, on field, like growing me as a player on field and like off the field. Like Coach G, he pushes you regardless of what it is. He always there for you. Like he doesn't allow us to lead a um, meeting room without him telling us that he loves us like as a group, just because that's just the guy he is. Like he believes in like having fun, but doing stuff the right way. And it's just good to have somebody like that who like resembles like a good father figure here when you're away from your real family, like at home. So it's good to have Coach G like, I'm so thankful. For, I'm so thankful for Coach G. Like everything he's done for me, like just the person he is. Like I feel like he's always somebody I'm gonna be able to call on. So I really appreciate and love Coach G. How do you kind of balance those emotions of knowing that this could potentially be your last game while also making the game your number one priority? Uh, it's it's not really that tough right now because, like I said, like I just try to focus on the game. But like I'm sure when I'm, like get out there and stuff, it's gonna be like kind of crazy because what could be. But we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Thank you, Mario. Yeah. Thank you, Mario.